Hey guys, Adrian or Kid Guru here for the channel, and today I thought I'd do some Windows tutorials for you guys, just because I haven't done a lot of tweaks, tricks for you guys in the recent, uh, you know, recently, just because I've been really busy with my other channel at youtube.com slash digital dojos, and I've been trying to put some more personal content over here on my main channel. But I did want to get this one tutorial out for you guys, because I thought this would be a little fun thing for you guys. Um, it's if you want to design your own blue screen of death, so that's right, your own B-Sod. So you may have heard of this, may have not, something I stumbled across. Um, and uh, it's a really, really cool program. It's called Not My Fault, and it's a program that was modified to specifically uh, ch create an error to make your screen or make your computer one. It's going to obviously create an error to your to be sought to blue screen of death. If you you know you've probably seen this if you got any hardware failure or any type of error, um, and you know your computer is locked up. This won't do a you know this will just uh, you can read the whole article here and the author explains it. This just creates a buggy, uses a buggy driver demonstration tool that he wrote back in the day to uh, make a crash dump analysis. And um, so this won't, you know, mess up your computer in any way. Obviously, you're going to have to reboot. So for this purpose of the video, I'm not going to actually, you know, hit the button to show you guys. But I will show you some screenshots and some stuff you can do. So you want to go over to his site here over at his blog on technet.com and you can download the application. So I have the application open over here, right under, and um, once you get it, it's going to be in a zip file. Now you're going to unzip it uh, using 7-zip or any program you have, and you want to open the exe folder. From there, you want to open up, uh, depending on your, I think release may be for 32-bit or 64-bit, you can open both. Uh, the x 64 bits work for me because I am on a 64-bit edition of Windows. So this version right here in the release, once I click that, this exe worked for me. It's going to pop up USC and stuff like that. So... Uh, depending on your 32-bit or 64-bit, you open it. Once you open it, you will get um, this little thing here that says pick your poison. So you can make, basically this will uh, show you the errors that you can make. You can make a hang IRP, uh, like this interrupt inter interrupt request, I believe that's what IRP stands for. Um, and or maybe it's IRQL, I'm not sure. Uh, code overwrite, stack trash, uh, buffer overflow, high IRQ, IRQL. Well, these are basically, they're just ways to... Uh, these are little bugs and demonstrations to uh, make the Windows system kind of overflow and not in a bad, you know, it's uh, just a bug tool and uh, it will make your computer crash, but so obviously you don't want any browsers open, any, you know, applications open because uh, obviously everything's going to crash. So you probably only want this app open. Um, it's a good prank to play on people. It's also, you know, just cool to have your screen change in case, you know, any b -sort happens. But um, so, yeah. Obviously, um, you want to set your poison, whatever you want to do, and then you can hit do bug, which will obviously restart your computer. But here you want to click BSOD colors. And here you can adjust uh, your color, your blue screen to death. So you can change it to green. You can change it to white. I think it's just hilarious because, you know, it's just one of those things if you're a Windows user, you probably see this a lot and people get tired of it. And, you know, now people are making apps where you can actually change the color of the uh, BSOD. So this FG stands for foreground. BG stands for background. So you can change both colors, you know, like the text and the uh, actual blue that you get. Usually it's a blue on white, uh, white on, yeah, blue on white, blue background on white text. Um, and you can change that to whatever you, you know, your heart's content. Um, and um, leak pool, leaked freed on exit. So I'm not sure what this is. I'm guessing this is just uh, this is something to do with, you can read in this article. But basically these are the main things. You can do a hang, a deadlock. So a hang, I'm guessing, would just be like a, like, you know, one of those freeze ups and then you'll get the error and then you'll probably have to do a restart. But um, opening back the article here, you can see uh, what some of the things look like here. And like they look pretty funny here. So, uh, for example, here's a blue screen from the above color choice that he set in here. And as you can see, it is uh, it says a problem has been detected and Windows has shut down to prevent damage to your computer. Uh, so, you know, nothing's really going to screw up on your machine. Obviously, you want to save all your data. And it's really as easy as that. You don't need to tweak anything. Uh, you know, other than that, that should be everything that you need to do. And you can read everything here and how it works. Uh, how he extended his not my fault program to do the kernel mode driver and all that. It's um you know some technical talk if you want to see what it does here and basically it's just changing the VGA palette entries um, to change the colors and it's just an interesting thing here if you really want to get into it. Just one of those fun things, fun pranks you can perform on your friend's computer or you know anything like that or you know to impress somebody whatever you want to do with it. Um, but this is a little fun little prank and we'll have some more little videos up there. Coming up, I'm gonna try and upload a couple more, and I do want to get my geek, my tour for geeks room out for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Again, um, that will be probably coming up in the next couple of days. It was supposed to be out today, but there's some issues there. 
Um, but anyways, again, check it out. Not my fault. Love to see what you guys can do with this and you know what type of stuff you set up. So leave it in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you guys, uh, in the, I guess in the next video. So thanks for watching, comment, rate, subscribe.